Hyundai Getz owes its success in our market to the optimal price-quality ratio. In addition, he has a pleasant appearance, a spacious interior and understandable handling. How profitable is Korean in terms of content? The compact Getz was a success for the Koreans. However, this is not surprising. The car was created taking into account the tastes of Europeans. Hence the excellent consumer properties, and a good balance of handling and comfort. The car was produced in the form of three and five door hatchbacks. Getz installed gasoline engines with a volume of 1.1 liters, 62 horsepower, 1.3 liters, 82 horsepower, and 1.6 liters, 105 horsepower, as well as a 1.5 liter turbo diesel, 82 and 105 horsepower. We only sold petrol versions. The standard gearbox is a five speed manual and a four-speed automatic was offered with all petrol engines except the 1.1 liter. Our aftermarket is dominated by dealer cars. Small on the outside, the car is quite spacious inside thanks to the high body. Moreover, there is enough space in front even for people of high stature, but the three of us in the rear will be cramped. The trunk is small, but enough for bags from the supermarket. In addition, the rear seat backs fold down to form a fairly roomy compartment with a flat floor. Getz is well equipped and is presented in two basic trim levels. The basic version of the GL included a driver's airbag and power front windows. The GLS option is noticeably richer, it also has ABS and air conditioning, but there are almost no cars on the secondary market without a radio and power accessories. The engines are simple in design, unpretentious in operation and require only timely, once every 10,000 kilometers, maintenance. The most expensive is every 60,000th regulation, on which, in addition to changing the oil and filters, the timing belt and tensioner rollers are updated. This operation should not be neglected, a broken belt, and therefore an expensive repair of the motor with a run of only a few thousand kilometers, is far from uncommon. Candles are designed for 30,000 kilometers, but they can withstand so much only when refueling with high-quality gasoline. The car is equipped with a 5-speed manual gearbox or a 4-band automatic except for the 1.1 liter engine. There are usually no problems with gearboxes, at least the first 100,000 to 150,000 kilometers. They require only regular oil changes, automatic transmission, every 45,000 kilometers, and manual gearbox, half as often. In the suspension to 50,000 kilometers, the stabilizer struts and bushings fail. Front shock absorbers sometimes withstand 80,000 kilometers of run. Usually, by this time, the chassis requires a serious revision, steering tips and ball joints, wheel bearings, as a rule, require replacement. The Getz braking system is reliable, but also needs attention. Brake discs have to be renewed every 30,000 km, and pads twice as often. Rear drum brakes do not require intervention up to 100,000 km or 5 years. The engines are of enviable quality, even though after 60,000 km of run, the front and rear crankshaft oil seals will have to be changed. Engine mounts will fail by 100,000 kilometers. But do not wait for the moment when the vibrations of the motor grow into a loud knock. In a mechanical one, by 60,000 kilometers, the drive cables weaken and break. By this run, the speed sensors of the input and output shafts begin to act up at the automatic transmission, which is why the machine works jerkily or goes into emergency mode. The front suspension will require frequent interventions, but they pay off with the availability of spare parts. For example, stabilizer struts and bushings go up to 50,000 km. Shock absorbers can withstand 80,000 km of run. In the rear suspension, the rear shock absorbers are at risk, which often fail by 50,000 km. At the same time, it makes sense to change the wheel bearings. The body resists corrosion as best it can, but its capabilities are limited. Chips and scratches appear quickly. If left untreated, they will rust. After five to six years, pain swells on the trunk lid, doors and sills, 